Hello everybody. Welcome back to my cooking channel. I am using the earbuds today because I realized my last videos have been low volume. Uh, my phone got wet. It was repaired at the phone shop, but apparently the mic is still not 100%, so it's very low volume. I apologize for that on the last video. So the earbud mic is the solution for the moment. Anyway, <clears throat> I am going to uh, also, quick note, I did change the name of the channel. It used to be J Alto's uh, crazy Eats and Kitchen Cheats, and it was such a long name, and I think I even messed it up in some of my videos where I said it wrong. So I literally just changed it. My main channel on YouTube is Just Space Jen, J-U-S-T space J-E-N-N. -N. So I figured why not just have that same name on my second channel to eliminate confusion. So now this channel is called Just Jen. Oh my God. And uh, basically based on cooking, as you can see. So now this channel is named Just Jen the Foodie because I don't just cook. Um, I also give kitchen tips, cooking tips, but I also get a lot of takeout items. I give reviews on restaurants and kitchen items. There's just so many things I want to put on this channel that it seemed that it would just all fall under being a foodie in general, uh, more so than just, you know, recipes or just cooking or just kitchen sheets or things like that. So anyway, all those things will still be on the channel, but I changed the name of the channel to Just Space Jen the foodie. So you guys can uh, easily find me because I'm going to be the girl with the crazy picture. I think I actually have a normal looking picture, like similar to this one <laughs> right now, but I may change it in the future. But regardless, uh, that's where I'm at. So anyway, the old link still works because you're here. So this morning I'm going to make my normal morning smoothie. I always make one. They're different, whether it's tropical fruit or just mixed fruit with yogurt and protein. I always put protein powder in there. Um, and then uh, yesterday I made the chai, vanilla chai smoothie. Today I'm going to make a mocha uh, coffee smoothie, I guess you would call it. It's kind of like, a, I mean, you could make it as basic coffee, but knocking all my ingredients over over here. Uh, it seems to me that when you put the chocolate in there, it kind of cuts out the... Um, that aftertaste of instant coffee, because when you go to the smoothie shops, they're using instant coffee when they put that in there and make those mocha smoothies for you guys most of the time. So anyway, let's get started. So I am going to go and fill this up to about here with ice. I shall return. Whew, it's hot in here, y'all. Anyway, um, apologies for any background noise. Mom is over there doing our own little pedicure thing and the TV's on and little boy blues in the room. I shut the door, but that doesn't mean he won't come and video bomb me because he does. So anyway, I've got the cup filled up. Um, as I told you guys in the other video, you've got measurements here that I believe this is like a 20 ounce cup altogether. But anyway, you've got your measurements on the side. So basically it's about two thirds worth of ice. This is going to get ground down anyway. You just want enough ice that it's going to make it nice and cold if you're going to have a nice cold ice smoothie. All right, and then you have to have some kind of liquid. Actually, go back a step, Jen. I've learned through error to uh, put the protein powder in over the ice. It seems to mix better, and you don't end up with most of it getting stuck to the sides or the top of your lid when it's grinding. So I'm going to put a big, healthy scoop of protein powder in there. This is uh, Walmart's brand whey protein. Um, they do have soy proteins also, for those of you who don't want to do the whey protein thing. Um, this is just Great Values brand. I believe it was like $14.99. And I've had that for over a month now. So, and I'm only halfway down. So, and I use a one to two scoops a day, depending on how many smoothies I have. So now I've got my whey protein in there. So I'm going to pour milk. I need just enough milk kind of where to where the ice was. So right about to there. Now. Personal preference, some people like their coffee without anything in it. I don't think you would be making a mocha smoothie if you didn't have some sweetness on your taste buds. I am using six packets of just generic fake sugar. I don't use real sugar. I haven't used it since pretty much 2000, roughly, <laughs> when I went on the old Atkins diet. But um, 
use whatever you like. Turbinado works well. A lot of the smoothie shops use turbinado, which is like a sugar cane. It's like a natural, more natural sugar. Recycle bin. Alrighty, so now I've got that in there. Um, I'm going to use some French vanilla creamer. Feel free to use the liquid. Just keep in mind, if the more liquid you put in here, you need some if you're putting in protein powder because you don't want it to be too thick and chunky. Um, the ice is also going to make it a little more watery, but um, I don't like it to be so thick that you can't get it through the straw. That's just annoying. So anyway, I'm using a great value Walmart brand uh, French vanilla. Pardon the nails. I broke quite a few of them last night. I must have been fighting in my sleep. It was on. Anyway. I'm just going to pour just a little generous amount here. Like I said, it's all just to cut. Uh, one, the protein powder, the vanilla flavor protein powder does have a little bit of a taste to it. It's not a bad taste, but I can taste it, and it kind of takes away from the coffee flavor and the mocha flavor. So to get the mocha flavor, ha, 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 Hershey's chocolate syrup. This is just your basic syrup that you use on ice cream or to make chocolate milk. It's kind of like an all-purpose chocolate. So now that I turn the bottle over, um, I'm just going to put a, oh dear, excuse me, I'm just going to put enough in here that, and I do have another bottle on the side, I just needed to finish this one first, but just basically do it to your taste. You'll figure out what your recipe is for it once you do it, you know, make a couple smoothies. One second. So unprepared unprofessional. All right. I'm using, again, uh, instant coffee. Tangled up. This is Great Values brand, Walmart, again. I'm all about the savings and uh, Walmart products. For a lot of you who don't know, I'll tell you a little tip about cooking things and uh, ingredients. A lot of these generic brands are actually made by name brand companies or people who have very good recipes that could easily compete with all the name brands. And they do a thing called white labeling, which they make a contract agreement with these companies like Walmart and Publix and Winn-Dixie and whoever you have in your area. And um, that allows the store to actually put their generic label on there when the product is actually made by either one of the big companies just sold at a lower price or it's made by someone who has made their own recipe and they basically have uh, done the agreement with the, the store. Uh, the corporation in order to, you know, obviously make profits and um, not have the hassle of, you know, they just keep sending the shipments over and then Walmart or whomever goes ahead and sticks their own label on there. So you, oh my goodness, you went tumbling down. This tripod's right on the edge of my uh, counter over here. That's what happened there. Jen, why? All right, let's see if I can get it back together here. Here we go. Okay. So anyway, um, that's called white labeling. So basically, you think it's a generic brand. A lot of people think, oh, it's not as good as the name brand, but this very well could be Maxwell House, which I have a container of Maxwell House instant there. Pardon the sniffles. My nose is running. My allergy medicine has not kicked in. Hang on. All right, sorry. Anyway, so this very well could be Maxwell House, and you'll never know it because great value. Walmart brand has put their label on there. So don't knock the generics if you haven't tried them. So anyway, getting back to the smoothie here. I'm going to put a heaping, and this is about a tablespoon and a half, and I'm going to do two of these because I like to have my smoothie have some good strong coffee flavor. A little bit more there. Alrighty, so we've got the milk, we've got protein powder, we've got the ice. I put in my fake sugar packets, there were six of those. Put in two heaping scoops of, uh, I don't know if you can see the size of this spoon. I don't use a certain measurement. This is like a soup spoon, so... I just put two heaping scoops of that on top, and then I've got my French vanilla creamer that we put in there. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. All right, right there is the Great Value chocolate syrup, just to compare. The other one was Hershey's. I didn't end up opening that one, but basically, like I said, it's all going to be to taste. So let me put the lid on. And again, this is the Hamilton Beach Personal Blender, so it's very small and compact, and you just take the cup and go. Very easy. All right, so let me spare your ears for a second. I'm gonna put the mic down.
Sorry, these earbuds only have one mic on one side. Dollar Tree. Anyway, I can't reach my straw. It's one of those McDonald's straws. I mentioned this in my last video. Snag them if you can. I have a whole box up there from my catering business, but they're very um, skinny. And I find with these protein smoothies being they're, they're like a milkshake, I'd rather have the McDonald's type straws. So, aye, aye, Captain. All you have to do is just grab a couple when you're out and about on your, oh gosh, this straw had water in it and I just sprayed myself. So anyway, taste it. Mm -mm. Mm. That is great right there. That's some greatness. So it's a good way to get your protein, get your caffeine all in one. You can throw some Greek yogurt in there, which is very bland. It does not have a, a lot of flavor, but it'll help you with the whole probiotic thing situation. But anyway, that's all there is to it, guys. Quick and easy. Only took me a little longer because of the fact that I was showing you each and every ingredient. But once you get your own recipe down, good to go. Um, also, in yesterday's video about the vanilla chai latte, I'm sorry, vanilla, <laughs> Ooh, I'm, a, I'm a Starbucks, y'all, the <laughs> vanilla chai protein smoothie on that video that I placed up. Um, I did do it one time where I actually added a little bit of chocolate syrup in there and I made it a chocolate chai. For those of you who have Wawa gas stations near you, they do sell a, um, on their, I don't know if it's a smoothie section. It might be. I think it's just under their frozen beverages. They have a regular chai, vanilla chai, or a chocolate chai. So basically that's how you achieve that madness right there. Equally good. Uh, the video I'm going to do for you guys probably tomorrow in the morning is going to be just post holidays. It's just past Christmas, but it will be an eggnog protein smoothie. And keep in mind, you can make any of these drinks without putting the protein powder in. It's not required. Still comes out the same. So anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know when the next episode of gin, booty, <laughs> craziness is going on. And, uh, let your friends know about this channel. I need to get my subscriber count up. I really do. See you guys on the next one.